In addition to Podman, several other container engines are available such as Docker, Cryo and ContainerD. In this lecture, we will focus on comparing Podman with one of the most popular container engines, Docker. Both Podman and Docker provide intuitive command line interfaces for managing containers. In fact, most users can easily alias Docker commands to Podman using the command alias docker equal to Podman, allowing for a seamless transition between the two tools. Let's break down some key differences between them. Podman operates without a central daemon, meaning that each container runs as a direct child process of the command you issue. This direct approach allows for immediate interactions and faster container management. Conversely, Docker follows a client-server architecture relying on a daemon to manage containers. This can introduce some complexity as the daemon needs to be running to interact with your containers. With Podman, security is enhanced thanks to its daemonless design, which eliminates a single point of failure. Moreover, it supports rootless containers, allowing non-privileged users to run containers safely. Initially, Docker operated its daemon with elevated privileges, which could create vulnerabilities if not carefully managed. A compromised daemon might expose the host system to potential threats. However, Docker has recently introduced a rootless mode for its daemon configuration, enhancing security by allowing users to run containers without requiring root privileges. Podman often leads the pack with faster container startup times. By eliminating the need to initiate a daemon, it can launch containers more quickly, which is a boon for developers needing speed. Docker, while still efficient, typically takes a bit longer to start containers due to the initial overhead of starting its daemon. Podman using Builder offers more flexibility by separating image building from container runtime, allowing for lightweight and efficient builds without a running daemon. Docker includes built-in image building, but it requires a daemon which can add overhead and reduce flexibility in certain use cases. Standout feature of Podman is its support for pods which are lightweight groups where multiple containers can share container namespace, common resources and be managed as a single unit. Docker, however, lacks this pod functionality which can lead to different strategies for handling multi-container applications. That concludes the comparison between Podman and Docker. I will see you in the next lecture.